Good morning. I'm struggling with the afternoon slump. Any tips on the afternoon slump, slump when I'm feeling tired and I go to pick snack? If you are coming in, give me a hello. If you're on replay, drop me a replay. This is a question that came up in our Q&A. So I wanted to cover it um, today as well. So first and foremost, it could well be habit. Like if we've always done it, and this is just a go-to, we get in and we pick and we eat, then it could well be a habit. And the one thing I would say there is, number one is change your environment. So when you come in, could you just go for a walk around the block instead? Could you stay out of the kitchen for the next hour, next half an hour? Keep busy, do something else. Could you do some admin work? Could you spend some time with family, friends or whatever? Get some jobs done that's outside the kitchen. Number two is to, what could you have instead at this time? Do you plan a snack in? Could you plan a snack in? Get some protein in, high in protein. So at least you are hitting your physiological requirement to be more full up. You are giving your body what it needs to help the hunger hormones be suppressed. Whether that's Greek yogurt and some berries or some cold meats or something simple, easy, because convenient and easy makes everything else a lot more um, doable, if you like. Number three would be to consider what you're having for breakfast and your lunch. Are you having protein rich breakfast, lunch? Are you just leaving it till then and you're really hungry? Number four, what time do you have dinner? And I would consider this because sometimes it's about saying and creating a rule where you're like, you know what? I want to go into my evening meal hungry so that I enjoy it more. Because let's face it, going into your meals when you are hungry means you will enjoy it more. They say ruining your dinner. We all all know that. Oh, don't, don't start now. You'll ruin your dinner. We've probably all said that before, all been told that at some point before, right? And it's true. Like you do, you kind of sit down, you, you put all this effort into a meal, you're not really hungry. It's like, it's the, for the sake of it, it's definitely not as enjoyable. So almost have a rule today. I won't snack because I want to enjoy my meal today. I will look forward to my meal. Guess what? You'll probably get more endorphins, more of a buzz out of your evening, evening meal later. But like I said, maybe it's worth planning in a protein rich snack for that time. Give yourself permission to have it. So at least then there's less cognitive load. There's less to think about, less fatigue in terms of decision making. Do I pick that? Should I have that? Should I have that? This is what I'm going to have. If I want a snack, I'll have yogurt and berries. If not, I'm not going to snack. Done. That's a decision. Yes or no. Less to think about. And if you look at one of the key variables in terms of sticking to something, we all know what we need to do. But sometimes it's just thinking about food all the time, all of that. And that's why sometimes fasting can be such a helpful tip here. There's less to think about here. I don't eat between these times. Maybe that's helpful as well. So I hope that helps uh, on there. Have a lovely weekend. Any questions, as always, let me know. And I'll see you soon. Take care.